Archimedes' principle is that the buoyant force acting on an object is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by that object. That is, the object is going to be occupying some volume that would have been occupied by the fluid if only the object weren't in the way. And that the buoyant force is equal to the weight of that displaced fluid. That's what Archimedes says, and we're going to do a mathematical proof to show that he's right. Here we have the surface of some fluid, some liquid that has a density rho. And under that fluid, under the surface, there is, for the sake of simplicity, a box shape. And the area, the base of that box, is A. The height of the box is H. And the height of the surface of the water above the top of the box, I'm calling H top. And the depth to the bottom of the box, or the height of the surface above the bottom of the box, is H bottom. Now, to understand this proof, there are several key ideas that you need to already know. The first of these is that pressure, by definition, is force over area. The second is that pressure for a incompressible fluid is rho g h, where h is the depth of the fluid, rho is the density of the fluid. That is the equation for hydrostatic equilibrium. And the third thing is that density, by definition, is mass divided by volume. So let's go ahead and start our proof. Key to this idea here is hydrostatic equilibrium, that the pressure, the deeper you go down in the fluid, is greater. And so the fluid pressure is pressing in on all sides of this box. But the key idea is that the pressure pressing in on the bottom of the box is stronger than the pressure pushing down on the top of the box. And that the buoyant force is the difference between the force pushing up and the force pressing down. Now, what is the force pressing up and the force pressing down? We need to look at our equation for pressure here, our definition of pressure. Pressure is force divided by area, therefore force is pressure times the area. So the force pushing up, this is F up and this is F down, the force pressing up is the pressure at the bottom times the area. And the force pressing down is the pressure at the top times the area. But we can replace those pressures with the hydrostatic equilibrium formula. So the pressure on the bottom is rho g times h bottom times a minus rho g h top times A. Notice that we have rho g A, rho g A in both terms. So we can say rho g times A times H bottom minus H top. But what is H bottom minus H top? Here's H bottom, here's H top. The difference between those two is H. It's the height of the box itself. So we can rewrite this as rho g a times h. Now we have the area of the base of the box times the height of the box. Well, that is equal to the volume of the box. So our buoyant force is equal to rho, the density of the fluid, times the strength of the gravitational field, little g, times the volume of the box which is the volume of the fluid that is displaced by the box. Now notice from our definition of density, density is mass over volume, that mass therefore is density times volume. And here we have density times volume. So this is the mass, the displaced fluid, I'm using DF to stand for displaced fluid, times little g m times little g is the weight of a mass m, 
And so the buoyant force is equal to the force of gravity of that displaced fluid. So we have arrived at Archimedes' statement. The buoyant force is equal to the weight of displaced fluid. But this formulation right here is probably the one that you're going to use most often. Because this is what allows you to actually calculate the magnitude of the buoyant force acting on an object if you know the density and the volume that is displaced.